everyone, welcome back to my channel, Moose World. So for this video, I'm just gonna answer some questions for you guys. I think I have a list, a list of about 30 questions that I'm gonna ask and respond to and then um, afterwards I'll just talk about kind of the future of my channel and what I hope to see and get out of being on YouTube so stay tuned and let's get right into the video okay so question one what is my current mood um, my current mood right now is obviously I, I feel kind of excited um, just because I'm filming like YouTube videos again like I haven't really taken much time to pay attention to okay what do you want to film? How are you going to film it? What kind of look and aesthetic do you want for your video? And I'm just excited that I've kind of found something that I feel like works for me and just speaks to who I am. You know, very simplistic, very clean, simple aesthetic. And so I'm just so excited to be filming this video. And yeah, my current mood is just excited, I guess, and happy because I'm just happy. Like, I love filming and shooting content. Like, I don't get a chance to always dress up all the time because I don't really do much to where I would need to dress up, so I am excited. <laughs> what is my age? So I am 22 years old. Um, my birthday is in November, so I will be 23 this coming November, and I'm also a Sagittarius, so if any of y'all out there can relate, you already know how Sages are, and I think we are like the coolest, dopest, chillest, laid back, easygoing people until you try us, and then we got something to say, but like all of, the Sages that I'm friends with are like very similar to myself. What is the last song you listened to? The last song I listened to was Set Em Up by Queen Nigra and Ari Lennox. I love that song. We about to set em up, yeah, yeah. We about to set em up. <laughs> I love that song so much, so. Queen Nigra and Ari Lennox, Set Em Up. Um, fourth question, what is your favorite song? That's a hard one. Your favorite song? Um, I listen to a lot of a lot of music, but I feel like the song that always gets me and like just like puts me in like a really good mood is it's called "Open Passionate" by Kehlani. Um, I'll play that here too, so y'all can get a little bit of it. But that transition from open into passionate is everything. And if anybody knows me or if they spend time with me, you know how much I belt that song when it comes on. So that's definitely my shit. <laughs> Where would you like to travel? I would like to travel every continent except for Antarctica. I wanna visit a whole host of countries in Africa, um, but I know that I need a lot more money for that because it's not necessarily the safest thing to just travel, just plan a trip to Africa. You need to make sure that you have security and stuff set in place and just make sure that you're safe and stuff. So that would take a long time to plan, but I really wanna to go to Africa, Thailand, Bali. I wanna go back to Greece and pretty much just enjoy the time without being a study abroad student because I just loved Greece and the people, the food, and everything was just literally top tier, top tier, except for some of the issues we had with a few people that were racist and stuff. But other than that, it really didn't like ruin our time in Greece, so. Definitely want to come back to Greece. Um, I want to visit some places in well, in the U.S. that I've never visited. Like I want to go to Malibu just because it looks so beautiful. I want to visit New York. Never been before. I want to visit Atlanta because I've never been before and I've grown up my entire life in Seattle, which probably has like a four percent black population rate. I don't know. It's probably less than that, but. In Atlanta, I feel like I would really thrive and feel more comfortable amongst people who look like me. So I really want to travel to Atlanta and visit that state as well, country, city, city. <laughs> I really want to visit that city as well. So that's on my bucket list, but I am going to Hawaii, which I've always wanted to go to. I'll be traveling there at the end of this month. So I cannot wait for the Hawaii vlog. I want to buy a drone too, so I can like make the footage like extra special. So we'll see how that goes. Um, what is the story of your last kiss? Um, okay. <laughs> Um, I honestly don't remember the last time I had a kiss or shared a kiss with someone. Um, why did you join Tinder? <laughs> okay, um, I'm not sure why this question is here, but apparently they know my life. But yeah, I actually was on Tinder for a good, I think like a few months at a time, like I would be on it, but I haven't been on it, like had an active profile in like two years, just because I feel like I'm too grown for that. 
Um, but yeah, I had a Tinder profile for sure and I didn't really get much out of it. Um, the last guy who I was talking to seriously, I met on there, but um, he really didn't have much to offer. <laughs> so Tinder was pretty much just a waste of time and I would never use it again. Okay, hugs or kisses? Um, I would say hugs, hugs for sure because I am mm, a hugger. When I love you, like I definitely want to hug you and while I like kissing, I feel like hugging is more personal sometimes. Like, I don't know, like what do you guys think is more like in enjoyable? Like a really long kiss or like a really long hug? Because I feel like both have their own purposes but like you can hug anyone you can't kiss everyone so you know I would definitely say I'm more of a hugger than a kisser any siblings um yes I do have two sisters one older one younger shout out DJ shout out Jose what's up I know y'all are watching because you guys always harass me for my YouTube videos so what's good DJ is 25 um, her name is Khadija but I call her DJ and my younger sister Jose not too but we call her Jose she is 18 the craziest thing you've ever done. What is the craziest thing you've ever done? Shoot, honestly guys, I'm really not that crazy. I really don't do things that are that outlandish. Maybe going back to my ex is the craziest thing I've ever done because like just how much he put me through, I was a complete fool and an idiot to go back to that toxicity. So the craziest thing I've ever done is get back with my toxic ex. What is a quote that you live by? Um, I don't necessarily have any quotes that I like hold on to necessarily and like repeat daily like a mantra, but I do have a lot of little signs around my room and stuff that say like, for example, this one up here, you guys can't see it, but it says breathe deep. Um, this one over here says be positive. That one over there says stay humble, work hard, mm, dream big. Be kind, keep smiling. So I kind of just keep like a lot of little quotes and stuff like around me so I stay in a positive um, mindset, I guess, but I really don't have just one quote um, that I rely on. Have you, have you had, do you have or had, have you had or do you have a job? Um, I do have a job. I currently am working as a software engineer intern for the Walt Disney Company. And um, in the past, I've worked various jobs across a lot of different companies. Uh, I've worked for Apple as a campus representative. I've also worked at Microsoft twice, once as a software engineer high school intern, and then once as a micro as an um, apprentice. So that was fun. And then I've also worked other jobs outside of that. Like I've worked at McDonald's, Taco Bell, Dairy Queen. Um, I feel like I'm missing some. Peaks frozen yogurt. Uh, Uber, Lyft, Instacart. I've done all of that. So yeah, I've had a lot of jobs. What are one of your passions? Um, I think one of my passions is definitely coding. I feel like coding is a passion of mine because it's so much fun. I really like get worked up about it um, in a good way. Like I get excited about trying out new programs or coding just fun little applications or redesigning websites and using languages for that. So I really love computer science and everything that you can do with programming and the things that you can build and create to me are so fascinating. So that's definitely one of my passions. Describe the person that you dislike the most. <laughs> um, okay, this question is interesting. I don't really dislike people, but I guess I dislike kinds of people and I dislike people that are dishonest that lie to you, that steal from you, and that cheat on you. So yeah, anybody like that, I dislike you. Um, okay, what does the last text you sent say? Okay, the last text I sent <laughs> was to my, <laughs> to my ex-boyfriend. And I said, I'm assuming you're mad at me and it won't come through later, so good luck at camp this week. <laughs> And that's pretty much because if you guys saw um, my vlog before this, I was kind of going through it with some issues with money and stuff, um, problems like that. So I kind of just texted him that to be like, I said what I said and I got off my chest. You're probably mad at me, so have a good rest of your day. <laughs> pretty much is what I said. So yeah, um, there's a T on that. <laughs> um, 
what is your idea of the perfect date um i feel like that i my ideal perfect date would be like one of those picnics where they like set it up on the beach or like in a park somewhere and like they have somebody come and like put out like all the different nice foods and drinks and it's just like super aesthetically pleasing to look at like i would love to have like a picnic date with like somewhere with a really nice view or like by the water like that would be my ideal date for sure what is the last movie you saw um the last movie i saw was fast and furious 9 um i paid i think i paid 20 dollars to watch it 20 I actually fell asleep through most of it and I fell asleep towards the end so I really couldn't tell you what happened but I'd probably give it like a 6 out of 10 only because I fell asleep but you know all the OG characters were there even Cardi B made a little cameo so that was cool <laughs> but yeah that's about it what upsets you the most um I have found that what has what really upsets me the most are people that lie to me and people that cheat me or like cheat on me or that steal from me like pretty much anybody who i have been genuine with and who has gone behind my back and done something to break that trust and um my ex was a really 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 great teacher um he was a great teacher that's honestly the best way to put him because he's taught me so many things that i would never let slide in any other relationship whether it be romantic or even like with my friends or my family anything do you want to get married um i definitely want to get married i see myself um being married to someone and having at least four kids um within well i want to be married within the next five years and i want to have my first child within the next six years <laughs> So yeah, when I tell my friends that, they'd be like, girl, you're 22, you're so young. But like, I honestly feel like an old soul in a young woman's body. Like, I'm ready to find a man that is going to be honest with me and who's not going to lie, cheat, or steal. <laughs> I just am waiting to find the right person. And, you know, I'm patient. Like, in the meantime, I'm focused on developing myself and the things that I care about. But, yeah, I definitely want to get married one day what is your happiest moment um i i could say that a happy moment that i've had recently um was probably eid um with my family the most recent one i love getting my family together and seeing all my nieces and nephews like if you guys watch my most recent vlog you'll see um all my nieces and nephews in it and i love them with all my heart and um just Spending time with family, any kind of family time, really always genuinely brings me happiness. Like I found that that's what truly makes my heart feel like, feel just alive and just feel like full is when I'm with my family and my nieces and nephews. So I love you guys. If any of y'all are watching, Salu, shout out. Shout out to you, Salu, because you my little homie. So <laughs> if anyone of you guys are watching, shout out to the Jallo fam. Shout out to Eddie Gabians watching too we family you know what i mean so yeah do you have any guilty pleasures um guilty pleasures yes i would say the real housewives of any city um is definitely a guilty pleasure of mine love and hip-hop atlanta is also a guilty pleasure of mine i really can't get enough of those two shows i feel like they're so funny and the drama is just so stupid and pointless that it can really help you just run away from your own problems and just focus on something else that's completely asinine and i love watching those tv shows because they take me there they take me to a place that's just like fun and just like carefree and yeah that's why i love watching those shows so those are my guilty pleasures for sure and those are all the questions that i had listed to answer and then i kind of just wanted to answer some other questions um like that I feel like people always ask about. So one of them is, are you Muslim? And I am a Muslim woman. I was born a Muslim, I'll die a Muslim. Um, when I know a, a lot of people watch my vlogs and they may think that I'm not a Muslim woman, but I mean, I really don't know what to say or how to explain that aside from I don't know it's 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 just me uh, <laughs> it's me and being a Muslim is just a part of 
my identity and yeah that's pretty much all i have to say on that topic but yeah i am muslim i do practice islam and all that good stuff and then another question that people love to ask is are you single and i'm sure from me answering those questions you guys could probably tell yes i am single um i haven't been in a relationship or like a serious relationship like committed pretty much ever i've like never ever been in a committed relationship with someone um the last entanglement i had which i'm still kind of entangled in um was with this guy who i met online and we had a lot in common and it was super super fun at first and then after like the first month it pretty much just got like toxic <laughs> and i was in it for two years in that and it really destroyed some beautiful parts of my life and now I'm kind of working on rebuilding that so I'm currently single at the moment single but looking I am looking for a nice little chocolate man to just kind of live life with so <laughs> whatever um, you know right now I'm mainly focused on work um, on my job and making sure that I can get the best job possible out of my internship and then I'm also focused on YouTube and developing my channel and connecting with you guys and talking to y'all and just really being present in... Oh, there goes my head wrap. <laughs> Anyways, um, I guess that means that I'm talking too much. So I'm going to go ahead and end this video. But before I do, I just want to let you guys know that I am planning to post content more regularly, um, at least once a week. Hopefully twice a week, but I do not want to be overzealous and overpromise or overcommit to something. So I'll promise to you guys to at least post one video a week. And I'm very excited to just develop content around a lot of different things. Um, I have like three different areas. The first is like my main channel content. So that will be like day in the life, vlog, week in the life. Um, maybe some like how-to videos or like if I do any story times that's gonna be like my main channel content and then I have like a whole list of ideas for some college content that I want to plan and then also some like technical content too so in terms of like building certain applications or creating certain projects and stuff or like redesigning your github or going through your resume or creating a LinkedIn like I want to make some videos around things like that so you guys will see a lot more content like that coming to my channel. But thank you guys so much for tuning in. And my head wrap's gone. I gotta go find it. But um, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys next week.